Hi folks, hope you're all doing well. It's been just over a year since we moved into this unit, about 54 weeks. So I thought now is a good time to show you another updated factory tour of the unit a year on. So if we start this new window that we got put in, we get to see an overview of the uh, unit layout. Got all the materials on the left, the CNC router in the far corner, the assembly station back here, and finished product storage over there, and space in the far corner for new machines, which you can see just there. So the good news is, is I'm back from uni for a year. I've finished, sec I've finished second year. Uh, now I'm doing my placement year. Most of my time was spent here. Um, and I'll be spending my time at another company called Cutting Blue Limited. But it means I get to make more videos, uh, spend more time on bike stow, and have a bit of fun. So let's start uh, with the material area and follow kind of the flow of materials through the, through the unit. Plyoid, when it comes in, will come through the shuttered door and onto one of these three stacks. Got some laminated plywood over here, raw birch plywood, and some MDF underneath. The next batch of plywood will be going on here. So moving on to the machine, the router, still here, the Multicam 3000, uh, all works great still. Tried out some different tools, learned a bit more about it, and we've got the process pretty dialed in for the four products that we currently make. The air compressor has just had some new air lines put in. So we've got an actual air line going up the wall, across, um, over to the new machine, which we'll get to and an airdrop here, just in case we need some air there. So once parts are finished on the router, they come off and go onto one of these three pallets. This is kind of work in progress. Uh, these then go over to this table here where they're finished. Uh, so sanding and chamfering the edges. And then once they're done on here, they come over to one of the pallets here, where they then get taken, put on the assembly table and assembled together to make one of our finished bike racks. So all of that stuff you've kind of all seen before, but behind me, you'll see a brand new machine. So let's go have a look at that. So this is our new Haas Mini Mill, which we just bought and it got delivered on Tuesday. It's now Friday. Uh, we're waiting for electrics to be connected, which will be on Monday. Then it'll get commissioned and then we've got training on Thursday and Friday and then we can start making some parts on it. So you can see it's still got a lot of the packaging on it. Um, I did take the bracket off so I can open the door. It's got all the blue gunk on it, which stops it rusting during transport, uh, the spindle support, things like that. So it still needs to be commissioned. So why did we get the mini mill? Well, there's a few reasons. Um, you would have seen over the last few months, I've been doing more and more aluminium plastic on the uh, CNC router for Formula Student and other projects, which works all right, but there's some limitations. Uh, the first being it's fully open. So that means it's, it's not very safe because if something breaks, it's gonna fly into you. Two, chips and stuff goes everywhere. So it takes about eight hours to clean up after you've done something that can't be sucked by the dust extractor like aluminium. And finally, the machine isn't really meant for that. It's not accurate enough um, and it's not rigid enough either. So it works okay, but made the decision to get a dedicated machine for that kind of thing. So I can do more one-off projects for Formula Student or other companies, things like that. And it also opens up the doors to developing our own products, which we couldn't have done previously. So I hope you enjoyed that brief factory tour of the unit one year on. As I said, I'm now back from uni, so I've got a bit more time to make videos. And over the next few weeks, I'll be doing just that, showing my progress and journey, uh, learning the new mini mill, as I did a year ago with the Multicam CNC router. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Take care and I'll see you later.